you guys today with a collective Target haul. This is many Target trips all compiled into one video because I have six courses this semester, school comes first, and I had zero fucking time to film. So here we are, spring break, let's do this. The first thing I picked up is the e.l.f. Mechanical Eyelash Curler, new and improved, there's some hair on it. Hot, right? I always thought that my eyelashes held a curl very well and, you know, they stayed curled, but when I would take pictures of my makeup, I noticed that they were kind of starting to stick out a little bit, so I decided to invest in this torture device, and I haven't used it yet because I am still so intimidated by eyelash curlers that I'm just kind of putting it off, even though I know that I should start doing it, but yes. I lied. I, I have... I have some things from other places other than Target in these bags. Forgive me for being such a dirty rotten liar but these are from CPS and they are Rimmel lip liners. The first one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses in 061 Wine and the second one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 064 Obsession. I wore Obsession and this bled in my lips like it it seeped into my fine lines, it looks so sloppy, and this is supposed to be a liner. This is supposed to prevent your other makeup that you wear on top of it if you choose to, to not bleed. And I wasn't a super huge fan of this, so I don't know if it's all Rimmel liners, like this one's the Exaggerate, this one's the Lasting Finish. I don't know how the Lasting Finish works, but I wasn't a fan of the Exaggerate, unfortunately. So Revlon was also buy one get one, so I picked up two nail polishes that I've had my eye on. I believe these are a new collection. They are the Transforming Effects Nail Polishes. And the first one I got is in Holographic Pearls, and I am literally obsessed with this. Like, I am, I love holographic things. Like, I wish I had more holographic things in my possession, but I absolutely adore this nail polish. I have not tried it on its own, however I tried it on top of some other nail polish that I own. It's like an off-white nail polish and two coats of this. Probably even one coat would have been okay. Just looks so phenomenal on my nails. I love this stuff. I haven't tried the second one yet. This one is Matte Pearl Glaze and I, I'm so excited to try this, but I'm trying to grow my nails out because I wore Essie and Essie fucked up my nails. I'm blaming Essie because I just really don't like Essie. That's probably really rude and unprofessional, but I'm not a professional, so I can I can do that. Hey. But yes, it is this, it's honestly like a pearly white nail polish with hints of pink and silver, and it's just so gorgeous. And I am obsessed already, even though it, I haven't tried it yet. I picked up the Milani Color Statement Liner. In true red, everybody talks about this. I wanted a nice red liner for my lips. I had one before, I hated it. Not the same brand. And I just picked up this bad boy. A very true blue based red. They go on super creamy. I love these. I wish they weren't wooden, but I feel like that's what adds to its charm. I'm pulling that out of my ass. But I really, really love this stuff. It doesn't budge, it doesn't, I just, oh, so good. Something that I wasn't super stoked about, and I see people talking about these all the time. This is the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. I got mine in this red color. Do you have a name? I got it in the red. And this set so weird on my lips. I hated it. It was goopy. It kind of balled up a little bit. I just wasn't a fan at all. So bringing it back to Target like I originally called this video, this is the Sonia Kashup Brush and Sponge Cleaner and I don't have a, you know, set cleaner for my makeup sponges and my brushes and I really wanted to get one so I figured why not try the Sonia Kashup one while we're at Target, let's just pick this bad boy up. I haven't used it yet so I can't give you like a mini review on it. But, here's to hoping, right? I also picked up undies. Do you guys, is this TMI? There's some back here. It's not like they're just like little girl 
panties, but they're a little mermaid and I really wanted them so I picked them up. So recently I have been a little candle crazy. By a little I mean a shit ton and I bought so many candles I really shouldn't have, but fuck it. I just did it anyway because I have a red card now and I'm just like, I'll get this and this and I'm building my credit and that's how I justify purchasing things with my red card. Oops. The first candle I picked up is this Grapefruit Verbena Scented Soy Candle. Guys, this smells so good. It literally smells like grapefruit and these soy candles from Target burn so well. They are so strong. You walk in your room and even if you're not burning it, if you don't have the lid on this, you can still smell it. They burn well. I said that already. I'm just, I love it. I love these candles. Go try them. The next candle I picked up is a mini size. These are, I believe, $5. And this is the Garden Party Pink Peony Scented Soy Candle. Now. Peonies are probably my favorite flower along with sunflowers, but I have never really actually smelled a peony before, smelled anything peony. And it has a very unique scent. Like it's fresh, but it's also floral. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, you know, as a candle, so that's why I only got the small size of it. The packaging is just super cute, and like I said, I love these soy candles from Target. And the last one I picked up has the cutest container. I can't wait to repurpose this. This is the Sweet Blush and Agave Fragranced Soy Candle for time up to 60 hours. I have yet to purchase one of these or own one so I don't know how strong the scent is or how long they last or how well they burn. However, I, in my experience from the Target candles, they burn very well, they last very long, and so I hope that this one doesn't disappoint. My nose is a little stuffy, but this one is it's fruity, but it's floral, and that's the worst description I could ever possibly give you, but it smells good. Obviously, if it didn't smell good, I wouldn't have purchased it. So, there you have it. I suck at describing candles. Like I said, this is multiple trips. I didn't purchase this all at once, and I have been using my red card, which is, you should never place a credit card in my hand of any type, but regardless, Space Jam was only $5, so how could I not? This movie is literally, literally, this movie is really honestly my childhood in one DVD. Now, if you guys know me a little bit, you know I love Marvel. I love Guardians of the Galaxy and Groot is my favorite character from Guardians of the Galaxy. And you know that I have my group one, my normal group, Pop Funko, right back here. It's like, I need this, someone get it for me for Christmas. No one got it for me for Christmas, so I bought it for myself. I got the dancing group bobblehead. I, whenever I watch Guardians of the Galaxy, I cry at the end because dancing Groot. I just am obsessed. I keep seeing obsessed, but honestly, no, like I really, I really am. And I will most likely take this one out of the container. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to because fuck it. That's the theme of this video. Obsessions and fuck it. Let's just do it. Because I am five years old, I have this weird thing for Lisa Frank. I used to hate Lisa Frank when I was younger, and now I'm just like, hey, that's super cute. And I got myself 375 plus Lisa Frank stickers. No regrets. None. And I was like, I need all of these mugs. But I, I actually exercised some self-restraint. Props to you, Jade. Very proud of you. I got two instead of all of them, and even though there's still two of them, instead of just one, I'm still proud of myself and I'm just gonna hold that inside, you can't take it away from me. These mugs were so me. 
literally me. I'm sorry, I just, I really want to be Rob Lowe when I grow up. Like, not even just Rob Lowe in general, even though he's a phenomenal human being. I want to be Rob Lowe's character from Parks and Rec. I just finished all of those on Netflix. I could talk about that like forever, but that's why I keep saying literally, literally me. Okay, this one says blonde roasts have more fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, I enjoy a dark roast every now and again, but I love me some blonde roasts. And this was so perfect, and I wanna start collecting mugs really badly, so this is just a great start to add to my collection. And the second one is life begins after coffee because I always say I am not a human being until I have my coffee. Don't look at me. Don't expect me to have a conversation with you. I will because I'm very nice, but it won't be a very good one. It will be a very awkward, leave me alone until I get my coffee sort of conversation. I am that guy. Bra strap. Classy. These were cute. So that is it for my huge collective Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I was talking super fast. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a rush. I'm not. I have all day. That's a lie. I have until my roommates get home and then they're in the kitchen and I'm right by the kitchen. So maybe that's why I'm rushing. Stream of consciousness. I'm being so weird this video. It's because I haven't sat down and talked to you and filmed in probably a month or longer and I feel guilty and I just can't this this is like an awkward conversation of a like a friend that you haven't hung out with in a while and you're finally hanging out with them and you feel awkward does that make sense I'm just gonna leave you guys for today I will talk to you guys later thank you for watching and uh okay bye <laughs>